Okay, this is an oak door with a golden oak finish. It's a real common finish in uh, 80s and 90s style uh, houses. It's a real rough grain. You can you can hear how, how rough this is. It's got uh, quite a bit of water staining down here. Um, you can see like all the edges and stuff are really full of dirt and grime. Um, it's just a, it's just an old, worn out, beat up door. Uh, but I want to show you what I'm capable of uh, doing to this door for refinishing purposes. Refinishing is is a real economical way to make your cabinets look uh, substantially better than they currently do. Um, you can breathe a lot more life into your cabinets, uh, and it will be the most inexpensive way to redo cabinets in a house uh, without taking out cabinets, without removing counters, without removing backsplash, uh, without removing your appliances and your sink. Uh, you don't have to uh, buy new doors. We can do amazing things with uh, old, worn out doors. And this is a pretty um, drastic case. I mean, this is a this is an ugly door. I can just get really up close on here and, and you can see just how how nasty this thing is but uh, I want to show you what we can do to this door and uh, enjoy okay here's this cabinet door after we um, refinished it you can see the water stain there at the bottom and then there to the left where we refinished it you cannot see that anymore you can see just how how gross that finish was and then you got a really nice um, really nice finish on there. Uh, again, we can just take your old oak doors. This uh, we could we 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 hid the uh, hid the grain quite a bit on it, where it just made it look um, quite a bit darker. If that's the look you're going for, this is a it's almost a mocha uh, or an espresso. I'm sorry, and 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 uh, it's got some it's got brown in there, but it really kind of glows. It's, it's a nice color from that uh, golden oak to a really, really stylish uh, oak door, you know. And nice thing about doing the oak uh, and keeping those is you save a heck of a lot of money, don't you, Will? Yeah, you do. Okay, here's a really old door. I'll show you here. It's in, it's in really bad shape. The finish is uh, cracking and spotted. It's... Um, it's just really beat up. I'll show you up here. The, uh, the door's uh, kind of separated there. Um, it's really, uh, you can see, it's it's all cracking finish. Uh, there's some decent scratches in it, um, pitting and stuff like that. Um, we're going to go ahead and repair this door. I'm going to leave uh, some of it un, unrepaired so you can see what it turns into. But we're actually going to take this dark door and make it lighter. It's my son. He's learning, aren't you? Yeah. All right. You think we can do it on this door? Yeah, I think Boy, so. okay, this is a go. big difference. So you got this old, nasty, dark, nasty wood. And then uh, with some love, this is an antique white where we just put uh, really, really sharp glaze in there. Um, it's not a, uh, we can do a dirty glaze that makes it look more antique, but this is more of a accent glaze that just really um, accentuates the detail. So, I mean, this detail used to be kind of outdated, but if you do this to it, it looks intentional and it looks modern. And um, you can see the, the grain doesn't really show like it does here. And then into our, um, into our high build primer, we use um, lacquer material. This is not latex paint. We use a high, high grade uh, cabinet lacquer to do um, to do our refinishing process. And believe me, it's a process. It doesn't just happen with the roller. All of our equipment sprayed on, or it's all spray equipment, and um, we sand many, many coats, and we get the adhesion. Uh, properly if the adhesion isn't properly done the paint will peel and you've all seen uh, peeling paint on cabinets 
That doesn't happen with this process. Um, it's a really durable product, and uh, we're, we're happy with this result. But uh, if we can make this door look like that, I mean, you can see up close on this finish. It's a really, really nice finish. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll just put the camera right here. I mean, it's it's a nice finish. I mean, these joints were open. It, it, it was bad, and we could fix all that. No matter what your door looks like, we can fix it. Bulldog refinishing. Okay, here we got a old heavy grain oak door. As you can see, it's in it's in pretty rough shape. Uh, it's got some scratches in the finish. Um, up here, it's got some discoloration. Um, just a lot of wear. Real, real rough grain. Uh, a lot of dirt and grime, stuff like that. Um, we're going to take this door. And we're going to turn it to, into a, uh, a real rich looking um, black uh, with a uh, black door with a rub through and then a clear finish on top. And so we'll just turn it into a real classy, um, classy look here. But uh, we'll keep part of it undone so you can see what it looks like uh, before and after. Just try to remember what this looks like, all right? And here's uh, here's that door before, and then we did an ebony uh, color with a, uh, a rub-through finish that just kind of accents those um, edges of the cabinet. Looks pretty cool. You know, you can see where we rub through uh, when we're doing our sanding process. Kind of gives a, a really neat look to the corners and stuff. But uh, I like this look. This is if you want... Uh, if you want black, it just makes it look uh, look really neat. I love that kind of finish. But no, I mean, you would never think that you could take that oak and just turn it into something really pretty. So proud of this door. Um, refinishing is quite a few steps. It's a lot of work, but it's uh, it's well worth it. And, and, and it's neat to be able to take something that looks like you just had no... no no life in it at all and you can really turn it into something neat um, again it's it's a lot less expensive than any other uh, form of cabinetry uh, as far as refacing or build new cabinets we can do all that as well but uh, the refinishing really intrigues us because you can breathe new uh, breathe new life into your cabinets and um, and not break the bank save the extra money to take Willie on vacation huh yeah Oh, there's a smile. Let's see it. I like those vacations. <laughs> All right, here we are with a a lighter colored door that's been severely damaged. And there's a lot of peeling finish here. You can see the edges are just completely gone, water damaged. Uh, the seams on the door have actually opened up. We're going to fix all that. You can see it's just... Uh, it's just in rough shape, but have no fear. We could refinish it here. All right. Okay, here's more of a mahogany type color. Uh, man, this cabinet was was messed up too. I mean, you can see how the damage was, and this was throughout the entire door. And um, we gave it a, a little reddish brown tint. It's really a pretty color, and it shows the figure of the wood. So we don't, you know, put a solid color over it, but it does, uh, it does look really cool. So, um, proud of the way this one came out. It's a really popular color. Um, it's got, it's got kind of a satin sheen on there too, so it wouldn't be super shiny. Um, but there you go. I like how this one, I mean, just look how this door looked before it was, it was really bad. And then, you know, and, and the and the finish is just really smooth. Um, feels really good. It feels brand here's, new. Here's uh, here's the door after we recoated it. You can see the section that we didn't mess with. How yucky that is, and and how put a really nice finish on this. And the nice thing about these finishes is it makes the door look brand new. 
but it doesn't look like it was refinished. It doesn't hide all the grain. If you don't want to hide the grain, you know, another thing we did on this is we put a glaze where we darken the detail a little bit just to give it a, a, an accent, gives it some more depth. Um, this is a satin finish, so it's not real glossy if you don't like that real glossy look. Um, but that's, uh, that's how it comes out. This is a cinnamon color. Um, it, it's, uh, it just makes that cabinet look uh, from, from really old and beat up to uh, brand new. Okay, here's a door that I recently took off a job that I just did. And you can see... The oak grain, it's uh, pretty heavy, but what we did is we put an opaque finish on this. It's a, it's a cabinet lacquer, and it's a gray. I love this color, but you can see how, uh, I mean, this, this this is a very, very durable product, but it is just slick on there, too, and it, it looks pretty. So if you wanted to take your old oak that's just kind of obnoxious looking, you could put any color. I mean, any color you chose we can color it. Um, we could also put accent glazes in it. We can do um, uh, rub throughs. We can do antiquing. We can beat it up with chain and distress it and then glaze it. We can do, uh, if you see something in a magazine, a finish that you like, the answer is yes, we can do it. So uh, give us a call if you want uh, your cabinets refinished.